watching God's Word for You Today program, an online Bible teaching ministry of Maranatha Baptist Church, Villamonte, Bacolod City, Philippines. This program is designed to make the time-tested, solid Word of God relevant to your life's need today. God's Word for You Today is found in... Now therefore... Fear ye not, I will nourish you and your little ones. And he comforted them and spake kindly unto them. Last week we studied about fear not. And then these are reminders of Joseph to his brothers who are asking forgiveness. Now in verse 21, Sugpun langid mga kauturan, another moment Joseph encouraged his brethren Fear ye not. And this time, it is now an encouragement. It's no longer a reminder, but an encouragement of a brother who is so blessed by God beyond measure. So this morning, mga kauturan, in this episode, the word fear not is an encouragement of Joseph to his brethren. Three things we can see in the verse. Now, number one, fear not is an encouragement for provision. Siling ni Joseph say mga utod about stop worrying over what you did to me. God meant it for good. From now on, I will nourish you. I will nourish you. Well, many years Joseph died and the children of Israel were fed indeed by God in the land of Egypt, the reason why they become so many. They become a nation that was 400 years past that Moses was called by God to deliver Israel because they already are so many from 70 souls to uh, at least 2 million people. That is how blessed how blessed Jacob was and Joseph was and the children of Israel in the land of Goshen. But of course, Joseph encourages his brothers, I will provide for you. So remember, fear not because there is provision. Remember the words of David in Psalms that God will not allow his child to suffer loss. So, yeah, once I was young and now I am old. Yet I have not seen the righteous forsaken. So if this man encourages his brothers to fear not, how much more our God who says, Fear not! Na mamuna nga kanami gid magsalig sa ginoo mga kauturan, kay ang ginoo nga nagtuga sa imo kag sa akon, ang ginoo nga nagluwas sa imo kag sa akon, amuman ang ginoo nga nagprovide sa kay Joseph, kag nagsustain sa kay Jacob, kag sa tanan nga mga katawhan sang Israel. In fact, we have now the complete revelation, the word of God. So there is physical provision. There is also spiritual provision. You know why? Because God wanted His children to grow in uh, the so-called holistic growth. So fear not. An encouragement for provision from Joseph to his brethren to, his, to their families. Second encouragement we can see in this verse is that Silinya and he comforted them. Kay bisa nakahambal na siya still fear and worries and anxieties can still be seen in the face of Reuben, in the face of Simeon, in the face of Levi, Judah, and the rest of his brothers, including Benjamin. Nga wala mang gani kabaluguro kung anong nagkalatab mo. The only thing Benjamin knew is that his Joseph, his brother Joseph died many years back. But here comes now Joseph encouraging them to provide for their needs and comforting them from being fearful of what will Joseph do to them as vengeance, as balos sa ilang evil nga ginhimo. So if you are, if you still felt guilty right now over the sins you did to your brother, I want you to realize this truth. 
Stop thinking that or else that will cripple your confidence in the Lord. Once you confess it before God, consider it cleansed and forgiven. Do not allow the devil to ring in your ear that old sin that you committed that makes you be crippled in the thing that you ought and you are supposed to do. So, do not live in the past failures. If you confess it before God, stand on your ground, stand on your feet, continue to do what God wanted us to do. That's the comfort we have from God's Word, and that's the comfort we have from the Holy Spirit, just like Joseph comforting his brothers, saying, Fear not, I will be there for you. And the third encouragement we can see in the verse is that he spake kindly unto them. What is that? That is an encouragement for complete restoration. Joseph said, am I in the place of God? The answer is yes, he is indeed. That is why he has the strength to release forgiveness to his brothers and take note of the word he spake kindly unto them. Lain sa aton subong, nga nangayo patawad ang aton utod, gin patawad man naton, sang pila ka mga inadlaw, madumduman naton ng yasala, aton sila munuhon, may sala ka pa bala sa akon. That is not complete restoration. It was done already. It was forgiven. And yet, People would love to make it back and back again. That is why ang tao nga ginhambalan mapunaw sa kaulaw instead nga maghimo pa siya maayo dili na lang nga numan na discourage, na dismaya siya because of your words. Joseph did not tell Simeon, Joseph did not tell Reuben, may sala ka pa bala sa ako, nugay ka pa sa wayda, nugay ka himo sa butang, ha? hindi ko malipay ha. Joseph is not that kind of person. When he said he spake, when, when the author commended, commented, he spake kindly unto them, shows who Joseph was. Ang tuduod nga matur nga kristuhanon, kabalo magpatawad, kag ang pagpatawad, nga wala nagaisip, sang sala nga nahimo, dugay na nga natabo. So kung ikaw tutuod nga anak sang Dios kag sagi ka pa panumboy sa sala sang iban, panumboy sa sala sang bana mo, sala sang asawa mo, sala sang kaingod mo, I want you to know that Joseph did not do it. Siguro amo nang rason nga mapunaw ka, may kakulba ka sa sining COVID-19 because you possess a wrong attitude. Joseph speak kindly to them speaks of complete restoration which is the best thing best attitude that we need to possess in this pandemic time mga kauturan ko sa Ginoo ang aton panginabuhi sugod sang 2020 perti nagid kabudlay ka damo nagid sa mga pagtilaw nga nagalabot sa aton mga kabuhi kasakit man viruses man relational man but i want you to know that God's word for you is this. Fear not. God is there. Fear not. God promised us provision. Fear not. God will comfort us. Fear not. God will deal with us not according to our sins, but according to His mercies. Just like Joseph did to his brethren, he spake kindly to them an encouragement for complete restoration. So when you say, I forgive you, stop thinking the sin that they have committed before. But instead, both of you must move on and go on with a life you need to have and you need to do that will bring glory and honor to our dear Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Fear not! That is God's word for you today.